from Miami. I'm in my hotel room. It's about 8 a.m. now, and I'm gonna do my normal Miami morning routine. Normal, I mean, my normal routine that I have had the past like five days. I am staying on the beach. Oh, if I lived by the beach, I would go to the beach every day. Yesterday it was raining and I walked in the rain. I did not care, I was walking on that beach. No matter what happens when I'm here, I get up and I go for a walk. I also have the world's biggest blister because I keep going for a walk and not resting because I just want to walk on the beach, but I don't care. <laughs> I want to take advantage of being on the beach. Oh, you know what I just thought? I feel like my, these are dead. Yeah, they're dead. Okay, I need to charge them. So we're gonna go on my normal Miami morning routine which I love doing when I'm here. Okay, first let's plug these in. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go downstairs. Ooh, I need a room key. Thank you, thanks so much. See you later. I get my latte waiting for me in the morning to go walk on the beach. And we're at the beach. And then my morning routine at the beach is I walk for like an hour and a half, maybe two hours sometimes if it's like a really nice day. Then I go to the sauna when I'm on the beach, I call. I have my, my call list, okay? Like Hannah, my mom, Tam, who else I call? Isabella. Like I'll literally like do the daily check-ins while I walk. Sometimes listen to a podcast. I really like Valeria's Lipovetsky's Not Alone podcast. I feel like she has some really interesting conversations and I like her thought process as well. Normally the beach is like kind of busy and has loads of dogs and I like seeing everyone's dogs. But I feel like because this is like bad weather for Miami. People are indoors. It's really funny coming here and everyone's like so sorry about the weather. Like the weather is so bad. I'm like, this is summer for me. Like this is, I'm in shorts. This is summer. I am living. Just got a message from my friend Amy saying, do you want to come to a true American sample sale this morning? It's just got sunny by the way. As soon as I showered, it got sunny. Do I want to go? I think I want to go. Like I've never been to like a true American. By the way, I think the sample sale is Reformation and I love that brand. So I should probably go. I was actually going to do a couple other things this morning. One of them being go to Trader Joe's because I ran out of snacks and I'm going home soon. So I need plain snacks, obviously. I think I should go to the sample sale. What do you think it's going to be like? Like it's, she goes to sample sales all the time and she'll send me pictures and stuff. I want to go and have the experience, I think. I'm going to do my makeup for the day because now we got to rush. Well, not rush. I have. 40 minutes, it's loads of time. This is my makeup bag I wanted to show you. Look how incredible it is. It's from Anya Highmark and on it, it says Amelia's Vanity Kit. It's so cute. I have a couple of new products that I'm loving in my routine that are really standing the test of. Number one, different airplanes because I've been on quite a few airplanes over the past couple of weeks and my skin just gets a little bit dry and then I'm in the humidity and then I'm in the air conditioning. Not so much humidity, maybe more like heat and sweat and then I'm in the air conditioning. These are tried and tested to different climates and different skin concerns that I'm having at the moment. One is new and one I have loved pretty much since it launched. This is what I use first and it's great because it has SPF 25. So this is the new Shiseido Revitalescence Skin Glow Primer. It's a silicone free primer. Now I rarely rave about primers, okay? You guys know me, I don't use so much primer to be honest. Like it's not a product that I've incorporated into my routine a lot. This however is the most smoothing, blurring, hydrating primer it's like skincare but that also helps the longevity of your makeup and especially when i want to look glowing oh look how good that's just instantly woken up my face i don't like looking sweaty but i like the subtle glow i like a little glow you know what i mean oh my gosh that you could just wear this on its own like i'm looking at the viewfinder the way it's just woken up my face okay okay we're not playing around it's just so quick and easy to use. I would use this on its own as just like an SPF. It has kefir in it and niacinamide, both amazing ingredients. And the skincare element in it is that it kind of hydrates, tones, brightens your skin at the same time as being a primer and delivering the SPF. I had really bad acne, so I'd always look for like fragrance-free, non-comedogenic products. If you have acne, oily skin, if you're suffering from breakouts, look at non-comedogenic products. Shiseido is great for that. This is non-comedogenic and fragrance-free, by the way. And to me, non-comedogenic, what that meant to me when I had really bad, like severe acne is, isn't gonna clog my pores and make my spots worse. <laughs> Apparently it delivers hydration for 24 hours. Now this goes alongside it. This is one of the best foundation launches, I think over the past like five, six years. The Shiseido Revitalescence Skin Glow. I use the shade 340, which is a tiny bit dark for me right now, but having said that, you will see how good it blends into the skin. I will really show off its blending capabilities because it's not my exact shade as you can see, but I do like matching. You can see my neck is a bit darker than my face, so I do like matching it. And this brush, ugh, if you're looking for a good foundation brush, this brush is from Clé de Peau and it's so 
great. I'm gonna put this on half my face. I didn't plan on doing that, but you know what? Sometimes it's just good to show. So you can see, cause I'm not wearing any concealer or anything on top of this foundation. Oh my gosh, it's so good, it's so good, it's so good. Look at what we're looking at here, okay? Firstly, the redness around my nose and a bit of my under eye bags. I'll definitely put on concealer over the top, but you can see the foundation has enough coverage that my under eye bags are goodbye a little bit. You can see the redness around my nose that was on this side is covered. You can see how easy and quick that was to apply to get that seamless, flawless coverage. It literally took me like 10 seconds. And you can see my skin tone is just a little bit more even polished, put together. Such a good foundation. I love the finish of it the most. I mean, I love all those elements of it, but the finish the most because it just looks like my skin. It's the most skin looking foundation that I've ever tried and all I need to do is this. I don't need to be there hours with a beauty blender with my fingers blending it in. It literally is so flawless. I probably don't even need to use a mirror if I didn't want to, but why would I do that? <laughs> oh my God, this foundation's good, isn't it? It has SPF 30, there are 30 shades. It's got a kind of serum-like texture, I would say. Like it's really light considering the amount of coverage that it gives. Like that is what's really unique about it. It's also non-comedogenic and it also has that skincare element of it. That's why I love Shiseido because their products really focus on skincare hybrid. But yeah, it has the kefir and niacinamide in it as well. It also has prebiotics in it and SPF 30. That is the spiel on my favorite foundation. Let's do a little bit of eyebrows because these are out of control and as soon as I get home, I need to go and get them done because they are literally growing things. I'll link both of those products down below. They, oh, they are good, they are good. I feel like I do try out so many products that it doesn't take me that long to fall in love with something when something is good. A bit like dating, actually. <laughs> When, some, when I got something good in front of me, I know. Like I've done enough now that I'm like, yes, no, yes, no. I do a little bit more concealer because I am a bit addicted to my Clé de Peau concealer. I feel like Clé de Peau concealer was the product that I have used for so many years. Clé de Peau concealer got me through acne, but I wish I had Revitalescence Skin Go Primer when I had acne. Skin is skinning. The updates I do have for you. I love Miami. I have a... a new found re-love with America. I feel like before COVID, I used to spend so much more time in New York. I used to go to New York like three or four times a year and then I kind of stopped. And then over Christmas in LA and Montecito and now in Miami and New York, like I have so much love for being in America. I don't know why. I completely forgot how great America is. You know what I would love? I feel like I have a really good setup in New York when I go there. I have so many best friends. I have family there and I'd love a same kind of like really good setup, like know my, same in LA by the way, like I have family there. I just kind of know the vibes. I'd love that kind of vibe in Miami. So if anyone has any Miami recommendations or if you live in Miami and you want to be friends, <laughs> anyone who spent a lot of time in Miami, could you just leave me some comments? And I'd like to get like better bearings of myself in Miami. I've only really spent like five days here ever. I'd like to come here again and like feel more, a little bit more familiar and like have a stronger setup, I guess, like I do in New York and LA. By the way, this blush, I bought it for Tamara because I kept using it when we were together in New York. And every time I put it on, she was like, put that blush on me, put that blush on me. You do probably need this brush with it. I don't know why, this brush just makes everything amazing. It's the Clay de Peau brush. And this blush is the cream blush in shade two. It's gorgeous. I am doing too much chatting and not enough getting ready -ing. So let's speed this up. Always and forever, the Shiseido eyelash curler. There is nothing in this world better than this eyelash curler. Outfit of the day, because it's got a little bit sunnier now. I'm wearing this faithful top. I've gone back into the linen vibes with little faithful shorts as well. I've got my Chanel PVC bag on, which is one of my most favorite bags of all time. And little Hermes Arans. I'm literally wearing this because I feel like it will be easy to pop in and out of things when I'm going to the sample set. And then I have lunch with my friend India afterwards, who spends half her time here and I know her from London. I think I might bring a jumper actually as well. I need to remember Ralph's birthday present. I actually want to show you what I got my friend's dog for his birthday. His birthday. People celebrate dog birthdays in America. Um, I don't know if that's just an American thing, but I've never been to a dog birthday party before. I got him this little Hermes, see, get it? Hermes little box. <laughs> That was so funny. And then this is an Hermes bag, but like a dog toy. And it says Hermes on it. It's a bir little Birkin. And then I have some alcohol, like this little, this is a little champagne. <laughs> it's like based off, you know, woof 
Clico, based off Verve Clico. How good is that? And this is a little tequila bottle as well. Isn't that amazing? I'm honestly, I just thought it was really funny. And you know, what do you get a dog for its birthday? Especially this dog, like last night, I tried to feed Ralph some steak that I was having. No, it was lamb chops. He turned his nose up at the lamb chops and I was like, I, I'm not used to dogs that are so fussy around food. So anyway, not fussy around food. Maybe he will like his Hermes presents. <laughs> Okay, I am actually changing into jeans and these because I have a feeling I might be a bit cold. Just waiting for Amy and Rania to pick me up and then we're going to go to the sample sale. I'm so excited. What do you think we're going to buy? Hello, good morning. How are you guys? Hey, hello. Thanks for coming to get me. Oh, oh. Okay, this is the vibe. This is the Reformation sample sale. Oh, this is Susie's dress she had on in my video the other day, no? Should I get it? Wow. What do we think of these linen shorts? They're kind of like the ones I was wearing today. Oh, the paper bag ones. No, I prefer these. Just went to the group changing room and I'm walking away with three things. Is this my Uber? Is this my Uber? I think it is. Oh my gosh, the thing I love about Miami is all the Ubers and like giant trucks. Like literally this is this is a long way back from this huge truck. Thank you so much. Guys, look how good this foundation looks. It's been like maybe six hours. I had lunch with my friend India quickly. And I couldn't really vlog because it was her boyfriend's apartment. So I don't really want to like vlog this guy's apartment. It was really nice. And let me show you what I got from my sample sale. I got three things, which is amazing. All really amazingly discounted. And one of them, I actually wanted to get full price. And I thought, you know what? It's not really worth it. This dress. Look how beautiful this is. I can't believe I got it in the sample sale and I actually wanted it. I feel like they still do it. I got this really cute, actually, maybe I'll wear this today because it's a tiny bit chilly, but it's still sunny. This really cute crop cropped cardigan and I've always wanted a little cropped cardigan. How cute is that? So easy and great. Little cashmere cropped cardigan. Sweater, this was $80, um, probably around 300 pounds. Um, like normal price online. And then I got this little top, which I thought was so cute. I don't really like that many like florals and patterns and things anymore, but this I thought was just so gorgeous with the little cherries on it. It's like a little corset top, so pretty. And a great first experience. I'm really sad because I'm going and next week, my friend was like, the James Purse sales next week. And I was like, oh my God, James Purse. It's like one of my favorite brands. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to CVS, I think. Also Trader Joe's because I need to get some snacks for the plane, organize myself. I wanna go to CVS because female rage, guess what? My nail has broken like all the way down the center, like as in from there to the center, which is really annoying. And I don't want it to break before I go home. I could go and get it fixed today. I'm going home, so I guess I could just get it fixed in London, which I'll probably do. Where are my little socks? The friend I was just with is actually someone that has spent a lot of time in Miami because she's dating someone in Miami and was giving me like the 411. When I go somewhere, when I go somewhere a lot and I like somewhere like here, I want to know, well, I kind of told you this already, but I want to know the goss. Like I want to know like the cool place to go, where everyone goes, like the local places, where someone would go and like bump into their friends or what areas are like more family, what areas are like more single people, like blah, blah, blah. So it was really interesting like hearing from her the different um, like setups and like her perspective from as like a Londoner also. Got it. I am obsessed with anything Hello Kitty. I have been since I was like literally five. <laughs> I saw this lip balm. I have come to Pura Vida. Okay. The tree next door to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is quite good by the way. One of you the way that I don't know if I went to a bad one. That can be part of my my alley discovery for next time. He knows where Miami has my location. My Miami dad. And he's like, cool. 
coming either in five minutes. So I was like, oh, okay. So nice. <laughs> like, I feel like that doesn't kind of happen in London, but Miami, everyone's like out and about. Like, I don't know. Is that just me? Because I've already, like, I haven't spent that much time here, but that's the vibe. Ah, oh, back in rainy London. I would not have London any other way, let me tell you. This is home to me. Ah, oh, the light rain, the gray, gray sky, not a cloud in the sky. I kind of love it. Like the sound of the cars with the rain, like when they drive. Oof, that's my ASMR. I'm gonna go get my eyebrows done. I told you the other day we needed to sort those out. I'm walking to Blink Brow Bar and then I think I'm gonna get a juice. Mentally still in Miami getting a juice in this freezing weather. Oh, Notting Hill, I haven't seen seen you in a month almost. Wow, wee, aren't you beautiful? <sighs> My eyebrows are messed up now. I used to go to Brow Feek in Eccleston Yards. I used to see a girl called Vlada and recently she left and I have now been trying to find someone as good as her but can you see that they're not even? Naturally eyebrows aren't even but they're really uneven now <laughs> so we'll address that problem at another time not like i put my face on line every day or anything but i guess that's the experiment of trying to find something good and maybe i should go back to brow feet and ask who else they recommend i'm gonna go get a juice now can i please get a skinny green amelia thank you okay well let me tell you something being home without duke sucks and i keep almost crying <laughs> Um, I think because I just got back so when something is missing it feel like from your house It's different to when you're away. I don't know. It's been two months and two months and one week almost We're gonna distract ourselves. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go and have a bath Everyone keeps telling me to watch Mr. and Mrs. Smith the series. So I'm gonna start Mr. and Mrs. Smith the series I'm gonna run myself a bath. I think I'm actually gonna have a bath in my other bathroom. Oh my laundry This is welcome back home vibes Somewhere only we This is my little hub of heaven. I actually prefer having a bath here because I can close my little curtains and it's like I'm in my own little dream world of heaven. See what I mean? So let's run this bath. Oh, I haven't had a bath in literal weeks. We have some bath oil, interesting. The same bath oil, all right, I suppose. That's, I guess that's what we're gonna do. Sorry, my bath sounds like someone's peeing in the background. <laughs> But it is the bath, okay? I have a hair and makeup trial tomorrow, so I'm not going to really be doing anything with my hair. So I think, should I, <gasps> should I do a hair mask? Oh, this night's just got interesting. I could do a hair and face mask. Sorry if that noise is making you want to pee. It's making me want to pee a little bit, actually. <laughs> Let's go figure out a hair mask that we're going to do. Ooh. Actually, I think I've changed my mind. Because I am going to the hair salon tomorrow morning, I'm going to put it on two hours before tomorrow morning. I think that's what we're going to do, because otherwise I have to sleep in it. And I don't really want to do that. But while the bath is running, look what I got from Ananola that came today. These are new. These little uh, situations that we have here. Aren't they great? They've got little thumb holes and everything. It's a zip. It's giving yummy mummy. And I'm, I kind of love it. And these hoops are from the Perfect Hoop on Instagram. They're great too, aren't they? Oh, perfect. Time for a bath. Actually, I haven't put any of this in yet, have I? Let's do this thing. I think I got these from cult beauty i'm never really sure how much to use to be honest oh, probably a bit too much probably should have done it when it was running really shouldn't i if i got distracted and watching mr and mrs smith episode one guys i finally got a real stanley a real one not an amazon dupe mm. the amazon dupes are the same by the way now that i have both i can tell you okay this is the world's largest bolster should probably not have my laptop in bed can you hear that I'm slathering myself in mirror water rub, which is my favorite little ritual. It feels so good. My skin is at that point right now where it's just soaking up absolutely anything I put on it. So dry. Tomorrow night we're having a big dinner party with my parents and Mama Rachel. Those are the only like 
adults <laughs> there. Even though we're all technically adults, but I still feel like I'm 18. It's literally all our friends. It's We're kind of like mixing friends, actually. It's uh, Estée's coming. My friend Natasha's coming. Obviously, my sister's coming. We have another couple coming, Danny and Victoire. We have Alp coming. So many people. Oh, my cousin. My cousin's coming. We're basically having this dinner because my cousin's in London. Then we just made it like a big friend's dinner, but with my parents and my grandma because we're Middle Eastern, so that's <laughs> kind of just how it works. Sometimes your parents and grandma is just there. I think Max, my cousin, is bringing his friend Alex. Like, it's kind of just like, like for the vibes, like the youth, the youth vibes, I don't know. So I'm very, very much looking forward to that. And then on Monday, because I know Mama Rachel will want the goss, she's not going to settle for a group dinner when I've been away for three weeks. So on Monday, I'm having dinner with Mama Rachel, my mum and my sister. And actually, Mama Rachel texted me the funniest thing the other day because I called her and she messaged me saying, thanks for the goss, because <laughs> she loves the goss. But she spelled goss, goss. G-O-S. I hope she doesn't watch this so that she still spells goth. She arrested the fact that Mama Rachel was saying goth just, oh, it really made me happy. It really made me happy, let me tell you. Okay, I'm gonna just tie up my hair. Oh, I haven't moisturized my face. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a little overnight mask situation. I'm gonna do this. Well, first I need to put on my eye cream, actually. My little Shiseido Benefiance eye cream. I'm going through this quite quickly, actually. I think I might need a new one soon. I put my eye cream on, obviously, under my eyes. Tap, 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 tap. I also put it on my smile lines just because the extra hydration is really helpful. My eyebrows, what do you think of my eyebrows now? You can see them a little bit better. We're getting back into the routine now. Three weeks away is a long ass time. I haven't done that since the COVID days. Overnight cream and mask from Shiseido. It's one of my absolute faves because it's it's quite like jelly in texture, but it's really hydrating and you just wake up with really glowing skin, which is exactly what I want. Here we go. Lovely. Mm. Oh, and now this slippery little eel is ready to go to bed. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Oh, gosh. Right. Well, firstly, I look like a little cherry cola cherubina today. I bought this new Adenola set as soon as I saw it come online. I was like, oh, I need that color. That's a great little color, isn't it? It is now day two of me being back in London after my almost month long stint away. Well, it was three weeks. It was exactly three weeks. I'm in a bit of a crossroads now because I come home and I feel I feel a bit weird, honestly. I feel a bit strange and I feel like something is missing and I think that something is missing is in my home and <laughs> it's my dog. But more than that, I feel like I could, well, hmm, I don't know if I should even say, but I feel like I could spend more of my time in the US. I feel like I have a lot of my friends there. I have a lot of work there and I don't find it as taxing as I used to Maybe I say this now, because I've been away for three weeks. I used to find it really, really draining um, traveling. And now, I don't know. I feel like maybe from after COVID, I feel much more grateful to be able to travel than I used to. And I used to find it like much more exhausting. I don't find it that exhausting anymore. And I think, especially for me, like I really stay in my bubble a lot. And I do even get called out on that in comments and stuff. I really stay in my bubble and travel and exper different experiences really help see the bigger picture. So this might be my new normal. I don't know yet. I'm still figuring out 2024 and what this year is going to look like for me. We could be spending more time abroad. And I say that and you're probably thinking, but you spend a lot of time abroad anyway. I do. I don't mean for like press trips and things. I mean personally. You know what I'm saying? That is kind of maybe gonna be my new normal. I'm just saying it to you like I would say it to a friend. I could change my mind next week. Don't hold me to this, okay? <laughs> but that is kind of how I'm feeling right now. Let's see what happens. I'm in my YOLO era now. Is that an era? I don't know if that's even an era, but I do feel like I could spend a little bit more time locating myself elsewhere. I don't know. I'm figuring out my new normal. I'm figuring out my new routines. I do feel like the start of the year is always a time for reflection for everyone. It's particularly me. I love the start of anything. Like a new week, a Sunday, like a Sunday night, Monday morning. January, February is the biggest Sunday night, Monday morning that you can get in the whole year. And that is definitely what I'm doing right now. But I do like spending time outside my little London bubble. Oh, my doorbell's ringing. Hold on. Hi! I'm coming down. We got the makeup dry. 
tutorial starting. I actually need to bring this downstairs for my makeup trial because I haven't unpacked it since I got back because I was kind of thinking that maybe it's quite good for makeup artists to see what I actually use on my face and what I like and like the kind of shades I like because I like going a little bit dark with my foundation as we know and things like that so I thought I will bring this downstairs. I just thought I would end the vlog here while the makeup artist is setting up downstairs. I'll probably post my makeup like the after somewhere maybe on shorts <laughs> and on stories or TikTok or something so you might see that. I'm sorry about my little ramble about my crossroads but I'm curious to hear your thoughts as a friend and I will see you next Sunday 9.30 a.m. with another vlog we've got a really <laughs> really good week that I think you guys are gonna enjoy seeing in the vlogs next week I will see you next Sunday 9.30 a.m. with another vlog Mwah. bye guys